Hi and welcome to a new video of Made by Sim. Today I have a tutorial for you guys. I'm going to tell you how you can make this um, a beautiful top. It is made with Scheepjes cocktail, which is a acrylic cotton blend. I used a three and a half millimeter crochet hook, but I'm going to tell you that um, in the material list uh, section of this video as well. Now. Uh, this is one is for a European size 38. Um, uh, well, maybe that is a Dutch size. I don't know. It is a size S. But if you um, want to make it bigger, I'm going to tell you all about it in the video. The only thing is that I'm not able to tell you exactly how much... Um, yarn you will need for the bigger sizes or if you need if you are going to use another brand in another yarn because you can use any yarn that you like for this pattern the only thing is if you're going to use a uh, worsted weight yarn the um, the pattern will be larger so these uh, little holes here will be a lot larger but it is all up to you what kind of yarn you're going to use and what kind of a material you want for your um, top. It is made out of two panels, um, the front and back panel on your left side and the front and back panel on your um, right side because this part is just in one piece. See? You have this in just a one piece. It, um, it is crocheted together over here and on the side as well and to be honest I am super proud of the way I did it in this top and I hope you guys like it a lot because um, I'm thinking about using that method in more of my uh, upcoming tutorials as well for clothing see how beautiful that looks you can you, you can barely see that it, it is sewn together it's just like it is out of one piece but as the title um, the name of the top says it is a two piece uh, top super proud of it um, you can use some decoration on your top I used the fashion clip it is a Dutch company and she um, is up north in our country and she does have a website where she sells these uh, beautiful, um, amazing fashion clips. This is, this is a uh, decorative um, fashion clip. Not sure though if she will sell, send abroad, but um, uh, I'm sure that if, um, if you like her to send one, let me know and I'll try to contact her and see if she it will be able to, um, um, to send abroad. Um, she does have all these in uh, different sizes and every single one is unique so you won't find a, an exact the same one in her shop um, so this one is just for me anyway um, I hope I have explained everything inside of the video if there will be an update, a pattern update, maybe I forgot to tell you guys something or maybe um, I said something not in a complete correct way, then I will be um, telling you guys that down below into the comment section and in the um, description box of the video. Right? Oh, yeah. I'm super, super, I'm super excited, and I, w I really want to know what you guys think of this top. You either like it or you don't, but I just like to know. And please be gentle with me, because you know I'm trying to do my very best to make the videos in English for you guys as well. But I still find it really hard to do so. It's just so much easier for me to. Uh, express myself in my mother language than uh, to um, express myself in English. Anyhow, um, anyway, I try to do my very best and um, I hope you guys like it. If you made uh, a top uh, just like this one, then uh, be sure that uh, whenever you post it on your social media, then uh, to tag me, uh, for example, on Instagram or uh, on um, 
Facebook because I like to see all of your version, versions as well. You're more than welcome to join us at our Facebook group Made by Seam Headquarters. Um, the main language in the um, group is Dutch, but um, luckily the uh, Facebook has the uh, translate option so you will be able to follow along as well and we all would love it if you could join us there because you're more than welcome anyway please enjoy watching the video for this tutorial I'm going to use the Scheepjes cocktail this is a cotton acrylic blend 50-50 and um, each bowl has 50 grams and 125 meters per uh, skein of yarn. Now, um, this color is 7612. Um, I'm going to let you know how many skeins I used for the size that I made right here. Because I don't know yet how much I will use or how many I will use. Um... If you don't have the same yarn, there are a lot of different kinds of yarn that you can use for this project. Um, I'm going to tell you how you can decide what your size uh, needs to be. But then um, I can only tell you how many skeins you need for the size that I'm making with this specific yarn. So what you can do is make a little swatch with the yarn that you have in the pattern that I'm going to tell you um, in, um, in a few minutes. Um, and then you um, will be able to figure out how many, um, how much yarn you will need, right? So I'm sorry that I don't have all these sizes available for you, um, but there are so many different kinds of yarn that you can use. So um, for this, just make a little swatch and try to figure it out by yourself, all right? Now, then... Um, a uh, darning needle, a pair of scissors, I might use a little button. I'm going to use a three and a half millimeter clover crochet hook and I'm going to use a measure, measuring tape. Now, this tool is super important in this um, video. So you definitely will need one of these. Okay, in my Dutch video, I just made a little drawing, but I'm going to explain you guys um, what we're about to do. Well, this um, top is made out of two separate pieces of uh, fabric. So, um, we will be working um, two pieces, two um, identical pieces. And later on we're going to sew them together so for example here is your front and back panel on this side and your front and back pa panel on the other side here we are going to create the armholes and this part and this part will be sewn together now we will be leaving this part open and sewing on the front side and the back side of this part and on the back side of the other part uh, together so if we're taking it a little apart, it almost looks like something like this. So this is your first panel, front and back. And my cat wants to go into my room. Come. Yeah, come. Sorry about that. So um, this is how it looks. You can decide how you want your top to be. So if you want to have your um, opening right here just above, above your breasts or you want to have it on your belly button it's all, it's all up to you right now the armhole here and we're going to sew this part together and this one and that one okay now the two identical pieces that we're going to make are worked over the long end so we're not working from this side up, we're working this way. So in rows, that way. Now, what you're going to do is you, you're going to measure from your, um, 
shoulders to where you want your top to end and that will you will need to do that times two because front panel and back panel um, right some yeah. might want to have this top um, on the tight version a tighter version and the other one want to have a loose fit so also therefore uh, we all have different sizes I'm not able to tell you exactly how much you will need to create your top just make a little swatch um, and then do the math and see how you how much you will need now to help one another it would be really really good if you could leave all the details um, for the yarn um, crochet hook if you have a loose or tight tension uh, the size that you wear um, the length that your top is the width of your top if you're going to leave all the information down below um, in the comment section of this video we all can help one another right so that would I would think that is really awesome if you could do that all right let's get started all right most important thing measure measure your uh, body so again I'm not able to tell you guys how many um, change you need to do or how many um, um, centimeters or inches you will need for your size you will have to figure that out yourself right now what you need to do is measure from your shoulder to where you want your top to end and if that either is in centimeters or in uh, inches you have to do it times two because you need a front panel and a back panel right remember that um, number then uh, measure the largest size of your body so if this is around your uh, breast area then measure that size if it is around your hips and your top will go over your hips then measure your hips okay so because we need the largest size of your body now the um, top will be worked over um, half of the size that you just measured so for example if around your um, waist or around your breast is I'm just gonna give you a random number okay for example if this is 120 centimeters all the way around you need one fourth of that number okay because we only need to know this part because this part is identical and because both uh, panels are the same this back and the front is the same you just need one part so um, 120 and divide that by 4 is 30 centimeters okay so that is the, um, the that is what you need to know and also this and you need to do that times two okay <laughs> you have a little bit of a tail end so you can sew that in easier later on and start off with a slip knot on your hook and chain four one two three four um, we're not going to make a whole um, long chain but we're going to do it different because I think that looks a little a bit nicer so we did a chain of four then um, yarn over uh, uh, twice on your hook then insert your hook into the very first of the chain four and be sure that you have two loops on the hook just like that and make a treble crochet Now you have a little loop here, see? 
chain three. Yarn over twice, go into the loop that you just created and make another treble crochet. So now we have two of these loops. Chain three, yarn over twice, go back into the previous loop and make a treble crochet. Chain three, yarn over twice, go to the previous loop and treble crochet. So now I have four of these little loops. Now, now you need an even number of loops. An even number. But you need to make the loops for the length times two of your uh, of this length. Not this length, but this length. Okay? But when you divide that number by two, for example, um, let's say you need 50 loops, okay? 50, you can divide it by two is 25. Now, this number, you should not be able to divide this number by two. So 25 divided by two is 12 and a half. We cannot do half stitches. So for us, this number would be perfect. If you need 52 and you divide it by 2, the number is 26. You can divide it by 2 is 13. That's not what we need. Okay? So... Um, Let's make it easier. For example, 60 divided by 2, 30. 30 can be divided by 2 is 15, so we don't need it. Okay? 62 divided by 2, 31 divided by 2 is 15 and a half. So this is the number that we want. I hope that you got it, okay? All right, I did 74 of these loops. Now, get your measuring tape out and um, try to measure this. But um, you need to stretch it a little. Not all the way, but just a little. And that will be the right size. Actually, the right size that it will be um, will be uh, better to measure after the next row we're going to do um and i know it's not ideal but you know yeah it's just the way it is right now chain one and yarn over now here is your first loop and here is a sidebar just here you see it there the sidebar get your hook underneath that sidebar first do a yarn over and underneath that sidebar and try to find the sidebar on the other side as well okay then yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two okay then it looks like this now Gee. now three double crochet into this loop. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one, two, and three. Now go to the next space. Three double crochets into that space. One, two, three. Go to the next space. Three double crochets. 
and actually in this row it is three double crochet in each of the chain spaces in each of the these loops all the way till you are here at the very last one and as soon as you're here I'll be back to show you what to do next last space and in the last space three double crochet now we on the other side we did a um, we did the three double crochet into the space and one on the side the first one so on this side we're going to do an um, double crochet as well an extra double crochet and we do going to do it in this space here there you go so one extra double crochet chain three turn your work now the chain three doesn't count as anything same with the very last double crochet that we did right here it doesn't count as anything it's just meant to um, well so the border or the bottom of our top will look nicer that's the only reason why we're doing that chain three and why we did this uh, very last stitch if we wouldn't have done this one um, it would have looked really off right here okay now yarn over we're going to skip this one and going to the second one and make a double crochet a double crochet in the next and a double crochet in the next so if you don't count the very first chain three we did three double crochets now as you can see these all look like clusters of three stitches so the easiest way is to count to three and you know that you have all the stitches one two three in this um, row will work one double crochet in each of in all the stitches so one double crochet in all the stitches now um, to make our life easier in the next row uh, what you can do is find the middle stitch so or the center stitch of the row now for example I had clusters of uh, I had 74 clusters and if you divide that by two you have um, 37 okay so you count till you have 37 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 37 yeah so you should have 37 on this side and 37 on the other side place your stitch marker in between so you have the 37 on this side and the 37 on the other side place a stitch marker right there okay and then continue working a one a double crochet in each in all of the next uh, stitches of this round row of this row two and three and remember we're counting till three the very last one is just for the show um, we're not counting them as anything so you should end with three double crochets now, have a look here one two three and the one for the show if you have them three here you're good to go now chain three and again just for the show doesn't count as anything for um, this and the next rows we will be working into this stitch okay so the chain three then first stitch is this one work in that one and make oh, three double crochets and that is one in each of the three stitches one 
two, three. And it looks like there are four stitches, but that is just the chain three. Now, chain two, skip one, and single crochet in the next. Chain two, skip one, and a double crochet in the next three stitches. Three, chain two, skip one, single crochet, chain two, skip one, one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Two, three. And this is the repetition of this row. Chain two, skip one, single crochet, Chain two, skip one, one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Two, three. Chain two, skip one, single crochet, chain two, skip one, one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And to see if you are still on track, have a look two rows before this row. Let's see, here you see the uh, three double crochets into that loop that we made at the very beginning, right? Well, the next three double crochets are right on top of there. And these double crochets should be on top of these stitches. If you are not if it doesn't look, if your work doesn't look the same as mine, you went somewhere you went wrong. Okay? So try to find out where you went wrong if this doesn't look the same. That's why it is so important to count to three. Chain two. Skip one, that is number one. In the second one, single crochet, chain two. And skip the third one. Three double crochets in a row. And this is uh, what you do until you are here at the point where your stitch marker is. So if you are here, just right before the stitch marker, I'll be back to show you what to do next. Okay, so here's my stitch marker. Just right before the stitch marker, you have three double crochet stitches. And then here is the stitch marker. If you don't have three double crochet stitches here, you went wrong somewhere. Okay? Now, this is like the middle of our work. This is, this should be, or well, this goes on top of your shoulder. Now, on the other side, we wanted to, we want to have the same. So we start again with three double crochets. And then we will repeat our pattern. Chain two, skip one, single crochet, chain two, skip one, and three double crochets. Okay? Till you are at the end. And then I'll be back to show you what to do next. One, two, and three. And remember, this one doesn't count as anything and we will not be working in that one. Chain, Three. Turn your work. First stitch is here. There. One double crochet. One double crochet in the next. And the third one in the third stitch. Chain three. Don't chain too tight because otherwise um, your work will look off. One, 
to 3. Skip this and go to the 3 double crochet of the previous row and make a double crochet on each of the 3 double crochets. There you go. Chain 3. Skip, double crochet, double crochet, and double crochet. Chain three, skip, and three double crochets. And this is all there is to it for this row. Skip and three double crochets. Two, three, chain three, and three double crochets. One, two, three. Now, when you reach the part where your shoulder will be later on, you see six double crochets. Here we will do six double crochets instead of three. Every row there will be six double crochet. So also in this row, six double crochet. Okay? I will see you guys at the very end of this row. Chain three, skip one, two, three, two, and three. And remember, the last one looks like a stitch, but it is actually um, nothing, just the uh, border. Chain three. Turn your work and make one double crochet in the first three double crochet, just like we did before. And now we are going to sort of um, repeat the last two rows. Chain two. Now, the first row here we did a chain two and then a single crochet into a double crochet but here we just have a chain three and not a double crochet so after you did the chain two just go into the chain space or around the chain space make a single crochet chain two and then three double crochet one two three chain two, around the chain three, chain a single crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. Sorry if I crochet a little too fast, but I just had a look at the battery of my camera. <laughs> it's just a matter of seconds, I guess. Chain two, single crochet around the chain three space chain two and then one two three double crochets and this is what you do for the rest of the row except for the part where um, our shoulder is later on because like I said before here, is, here are the um, six double crochet in a row and on each of the double crochets here you should crochet a double crochet okay so um, I'll see you guys at the very end of this row here two and three and again the last one doesn't count as anything chain three 
turn your work one double crochet in each of the next three double crochets two three now this row will be a chain three row which means after you did the chain after you did the uh, three double crochets it is a chain three skip and go to the double crochets for three double crochets one two three chain three skip and double crochet in each of the next three double crochets there you go chain three skip three double crochets and this is what you do all the way um, across but remember that on top of your shoulder, instead of three double crochets, you should crochet six double crochet. It's just around the area where the stitch marker is. Now, um, you keep on repeating the last two rows, but you will end with a row with a chain three. Now, um, I don't know how big your um, top needs to be so therefore I'm going to show you a little trick so that you can uh, find out yourself how big it should be remember that at the beginning um, we made a little drawing and I added some uh, I told you some things that you need needed to measure um, this part which we did and now we're working on this part so this is one panel and this is the other one um, we need to crochet the width of the of just one panel okay so the amount that you had uh, when you measured in centimeters or in inches um, i gave the uh, example of a 120 centimeters and um you needed to divide that by four and the number was 30 so my in this case the panel should be 30 centimeters or inches or you know whatever your size is okay now what you need to do is measure the row with the loops and then the two rows with double crochets in my case that is about three centimeters not all the way but about three centimeters or one and a quarter one and a quarter inch not sure if you say it like that one and a quarter I'm just gonna say like that one and a quarter inch about or 1.2 inches okay now then um, measure the whole piece that you have for me that is six and a half centimeters or two and a half inch okay well that is not big enough i already did my first panel i'm going to show you right here and my first panel is about 22 centimeters there you go or eight and a half inch this this is what my first panel um, the width of my first panel is okay so I need to go crochet on and make um, more rows the last two rows um, are the repetition so and you always need to end with a row of a chain three now if I have the I'm just going to show you in centimeters it's just easier for me um, six and a half centimeters we said we had three centimeters for this part so if you add three centimeters you will have nine and a half centimeters okay um, so you will have to think about that after you finish doing the two rows measure again and see how far you are and add the three centimeters of the beginning your number number might be different than my number is 
okay? And um, on my first panel, I had seven of these openings ending with a chain three. Now, I'm going to try to finish off my second panel. Um, but before I am at that point where I need to do, again, the double crochet stitches, um, I'll be back to show you how to do that. So don't worry, I'll be back to show you how to do that. Enjoy. Um, it's For me, it is um, not that easy to explain it in English, but I'm trying to do my very best. And I hope it was clear to you. Um, and you guys would really help me out if you're... Um, if you want to let me know down below into the comment section of this video uh, on your size, on your centimeters or your inches and um, how many stitches you did, what kind of yarn you used. I like to know everything because um, not only um, I like to know that but there are a lot of other people um, that can use it as a guideline. So please help us all out and um, give us that information. I would really appreciate it. And I would be so thankful if you could do that for me. Anyway, uh, repeat the last two rows. And um, I'll see you guys um, as soon as I, I'm ready to do the two double crochet rows. See you in a minute. One, two, and three. I'm just going to pull up a loop. Um, it's time to measure my work. Nineteen centimeters, just about, and seven and a half inches. Okay, so. Um, I need to add the three centimeters I had at the beginning and then well I will end up having 22 centimeters or just not quite nine nine um, inches it'll be eight and three of a quarter of an inch I guess yeah okay so I'm gonna show you guys how to finish off this panel. Um, I already did my other panel. I have it right here. I just need to sew in all the ends. Look at that. Um, and this is what I have left of my fifth skein. One, two, chain three. Turn your work. one double crochet into the first stitch, one double crochet in the second, and one a double crochet in the third, just like we did uh, before in all the previous um, rows. Now, in this row, we like to have one stitch, uh, one double crochet in each stitch. So here you see um, your chain three. So around the chain three, three double crochet stitches. One, two, and three. Three double crochet, so one, two, three double crochet. And again, a chain three space, so three double crochets and so on and so on. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Two and number three. And I just realized that I made a little mistake in my previous row and I'm just gonna admit it but um, I don't want to frog it all the way because then um, I, I want to upload the video as soon as possible. But look here, there should be um, another stitch right there. But because this it will be the bottom of your work, um, 
it probably won't even be noticeable but I'm I'm sure that I will get comments so um, I thought I'm just gonna show you guys that I made a little mistake and that I'm only human so yeah there should be another one so if you have that chain uh, three because I have it here on the side but there should be another stitch in between there if you have it that is absolutely correct okay well Chain three, <laughs> said that, but chain three and turn your work in this round. Don't forget this first one. There you go. A, a double crochet in every stitch across. It's an easy row. Um, as soon as I and at the very end of this row I'll be back to show you how to finish off this row and then we will be crocheting our next row um, and I just attached my sixth skein right there see so this is my skein number six I'll see you guys at the very end of this row And number three now for this very last stitch of this round we're going to do things differently um, at the beginning of our work we started off with the three double crochets and um, the extra double crochet so everything would look straight you know straight um, on the side we also did that on the other side okay at the very beginning of this row, we did that chain three. Um, the, the chain three that, that doesn't count uh, as anything, but still to um, have it all look even in this very last stitch, I like to do the uh, extra double crochet. So on top of that um, chain three, an extra double crochet if you think that looks off what you also can do is an extra double crochet into the previous um, stitch it's just all up to you where you think that looks best as long as you're doing that extra double crochet otherwise um, the stitch count um, will be off now chain one then turn your work the extra double crochet crochet that we just did we're going to skip that one and we will be working in between that stitch and the very first uh, next stitch so go in between the two stitches and make a single crochet then chain three skip three stitches one two three and a single crochet in between the next stitches so one two three single crochet chain three one two three in between the stitches single crochet one two three one two skip three and in between the two stitches a single crochet now what uh, is very important that you're having a look at all the uh, stitches down below here the single crochet is here and the other one is right there and you have the three double crochets in between these um, should all be right above here so if you're a little further uh, along then have a, a good look and see if the everything is still correct if everything is still right um, as it is supposed to be if you're going somewhere in a different direction um, and it looks a little off it will be noticeable when you try to uh, put the two pieces together um, and it won't look as, as nice as it should be okay or as it could be so be sure that you're doing it in the right way one two three I just did a chain three and single crochet 
one, two, three, one, two, three, single crochet. Um, this is what you do till you are at the very end of this row. And as soon as I'm almost at the end, I'll be right back. I'll be right back to show you guys how to finish off this uh, uh, panel. Right? See you in a minute. Chain three, skip three, and right after the last double crochet and the um, chain three, just right between that, a single crochet and a chain one. Then leave a bit of leave a little bit of a tail end. Cut your yarn and pull through, and that's it. Well, you're supposed to make two of these panels. As soon as you did two of these panels, um, then come back to uh, this point in the video and um, watch the um, part where we are going to assemble this. Okay? Okay, this is the part where you need your stitch markers and where you need to try this top on. Um, so to make sure that it fits perfectly. Um, I already did this panel in my Dutch video and I decided that I needed for my uh, mannequin, I needed an arm opening for 80, 18 centimeters or seven inches. So 18, not 80, 18 inches. Uh, sorry, 18 centimeters or seven inches. All right, so uh, I need to do this the same on this side. Now, um, this is the good side of your work and this is the inner side. How do you know what the good side is and what is the, um, what the wrong side is and what the good side is? Well, I'm gonna show you. The good side has the um, uh, yarn tail, the, the way you ended on this side, and the one where you started on this side. Okay. Um, something else you can see: the chain two, um, single crochet chain two, it has the fees on top on this side. It looks different on the other side. Here you have the V's on top and also on this side you have the V's on top. You know, the, the on the other side it looks different. See? So this is your good side. Then place it down like that, grab it here in the middle and fold it. Just like that. Um, not worrying about uh, all the yarn tails that I still need to sew in. I'm going to do that later on. Now, um, you need two uh, panels. So this one, um, uh, for my Dutch video, I did it on this side. And I'm going to do the other panel with you guys. But as I want them to look the same, but um, I like to mirror it, because I'm going to show you, look. This is what I did in my Dutch video, see? So this is where we started off with the loops. Now, this looks identical, but I like to mirror it. I like, you know, to be on the other side. And therefore, we need to turn it over. Just like that. Okay? So it still looks uh, on the same in the same way, but we're just mirroring it. Hope that makes sense. So now these are the loops that we are working with, the ones that we started off with making the panel. Now I decided that I want to have a sort of a Split. I'm not sure if that is correct in English, but um, yeah, I'm gonna leave three of these loops open and I'm going to the fourth loop, grabbing a stitch marker, 
placing it right there and on the back side I'm counting three as well and in the fourth I'm closing the stitch marker so when this will be closed this part will be open in Dutch we call that a split but not sure what it, what it's called in English and please let me know down below in the comment section if that was correct or not um, I'm skipping the next one and I'm going to the next loop skipping one on the back side of the panel and moving up by just placing stitch markers skipping that one go for that one skipping this pin it down with that one well um, I'm just going to do it all the way till I have an opening of um, 7 inches or 18 centimeters for the size that I need but you should measure your size and see if uh, how many of these loops you will need now remember that this part is on top of your shoulder so fold it there and this should be your these should be your first loops on the other side I needed 10 of these loops 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and in the 11th I placed a stitch marker so this will be my arm opening I'm going to show you this should be 18 centimeters or 7 inches there you go see so be sure that you pin it all the way down um, and as soon as you did both panels so remember what I said one should be on this side mirror it on the other side and the other one should be here right see you guys in a minute okay I did uh, both panels this one and that one um, next step check if this part with the six double crochet is on top of the shoulder part right in the middle if this is not like this like in the middle there uh, is something off you did something um, not as, as it is supposed to be I hope I don't want to be rude um, not at all but I I don't know how to explain it differently okay so except um, same with this part it should be in the middle all right now now you need to decide where you want to have your um, um, point. Your in Dutch we say décolleté, and it's not a Dutch word at all. I, I assume, but um, the part that you want this V to end. Some of you want to have it just right above your breast. Some like to have it um, somewhere around your belly button. It's up to you it's not up to me where you want it so you have to decide it for yourself um, I decided that I wanted to have six of these openings one two three four five six and then go to the part where you have the three double crochets find that loop and place the stitch marker right there do exactly the same on the other side one two three four five six the part where you have the um, three double crochet grab that loop and place your stitch marker okay now um, what you have to think of is um, I like to have both openings on um, as, as my back as my front panel as well um, with the same opening that's what I'm thinking about right now um, but if you like it more that it is a little bit more closed on the back side then just close it on the back side a little further um, I'm afraid it won't look as nice as if you um, are closing it all the way because then there will be no place where your neck can go so you should leave it a little open somewhere on the back side okay 
just pin it down with your stitch markers and see what happens um, as soon as you do both this side and the other side all the way down to the bottom of your um, shirt then try it on try it on your mannequin try it on yourself your child or the person you're making it for just try and see if it looks okay because this will be the time that you will be able to adjust um, a lot of things right okay see you guys in a minute all right uh, I just tried it on on my mannequin and it fits perfectly it looks so good so um, in the next clip I'm gonna show you guys look here um, I'm gonna show you guys how to sew this together or actually we're going to crochet everything together oh, I'm so happy before you start crocheting the two pieces together you will have to turn your work inside out Alright, I already uh, did uh, this part, it lays down flat like that, you just grab it like that and you start off um, working like that, this way. So you leave three of the openings and where your stitch marker starts, uh, your first stitch marker is, you um, start working there and you end up here okay I'm going to show you exactly what I did but then on the opposite side because here we started almost at the bottom and we worked uh, up until our armpit then we are going to turn things around after we did that and then we start um, from underneath our our armpit this is where our stitch marker is and I'm going to show you guys how to do this part the other part is exactly the same, only you start from the bottom to your armpit and now from the armpit to the bottom. Okay. Um, the one uh, that I did in my, in my Dutch video, I just started with a um, standing single crochet. I'm going to show you how to do that. You just have your loop on the hook. You grab a the loops that you need to do uh, together then insert your hook underneath the two strands grab your loop yarn over and pull through two that's how you do a standing single crochet okay now at the very end of that row just when you reach the point where your um, armpit is you end with a slip stitch and that slip stitch needs to be in the part between the loops so here you have the loop the part between the loop and the loop where we should start that part you need to insert your hook in that part we need to do it on the other way as well on the other side as well there you go then grab your yarn pull through and pull through the loop on your hook this is how we start on this side but that's how we end it on the other side when you end it on your other side just like that under your armpit then do a chain one cut your yarn and pull through All right or do it as you like now three double sorry three single crochets around the uh, first loop be sure that you grab the loop on this side and the loop on the other side then sew them together just by crochet just by crocheting three single crochets in them then chain one go to the next loops the first one and the second one so here and there and do three single crochet don't crochet too tight if it is too tight it looks off 
if you're not able to lose um, to crochet a, loo a little looser um, a little more loose I don't know if you are a tight crochet you then go a hook size up right don't forget that chain one in between go to the next loop three single crochet chain one next one one two three chain one this is what you do all the way down till you are three loops down from the bottom if you want to go all the way then go all the way down to the bottom of the um, side of your top this is just one of the tops um, where you can decide how you want it and try if it looks okay or if it doesn't just try things out so nice to do that one two three chain one I'll see you guys later one two have I told you guys that you need to fold it inside out before you're going to sew? Oops. I'm going to tell you that in between if I forgot to tell you that. Last one. Two. And three. Then go in between. We didn't start it off that way on the other side, but we're doing that by sewing um, in the yarn end. So, sorry. Here, in between the, the loops, you have that stitch there. On the other side, another one here. There. Insert your hook there, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook, and chain one leave a little bit of a tail end and then cut your yarn and pull through there you go so we did the sides on both sides and now we're going to turn our work inside out There you go. Now, if you think that this doesn't look as good as you want it to be, then start pulling it a little like that. There you go. And it will look instantly a lot nicer. Do it on the other side as well. And then we are ready to close the front. Um let's see. Let's see if that worked out perfectly. Yeah. Look how nice how nice that looks. See? Super nice. I like it so much that way. Anyway, um we're going to do the same here on this side and on the other side. So Turn it inside out again. <laughs> there you go. And start off the process again by just starting here. At this this time you start off um, in the single crochet that you made so on this side the single crochet and on the other side the single crochet then grab your yarn go all the way up here sew it together just like we did on the side and end with a slip stitch um, here in the um, stitch there just like we did on the other side all right i'm going to do uh, this on both sides 
this one and the other one and then um, I'm gonna sew in all the lovely yarn ends I, I really love to do that nah. um, and then I'll be back to show you how this beautiful two-piece summer breeze top looks like see you guys in a minute and enjoy uh, sewing it together just like we did um, on the sides see ya well that's it I finished the top and to be honest I am pretty pleased how it turned out I am super proud of the finish um, uh, off on the side of the top uh, how it was uh, crocheted together it is just a way and that I will definitely be using more in uh, upcoming tutorials because it is I think it is super beautiful to do it that way well um, what, you, what do you guys think was it easy for you easy for you to uh, crochet along with me um, did you find it hard um, let me know what you guys think of this video because um, don't be too harsh of me uh, I'm trying to do my very best to do the videos in English and it's not always that easy for me but I'm open for any uh, suggestions or you know uh, as long as I can uh, I can stay true to myself all right let me know um, what the your sizes are and what the centimeters and inches are of the top that you made and uh, this um, the measurements you know I'd like to know all that um, not only for me but for everyone else who is not able to uh, measure it on a, a body of the person that they're making it for you could use a, a t-shirt or a top or whatever in the size for the person you're making it for but still um, I think that it is a lot well you know I think that you know, we can help each other out by doing that as well so please let me know all the details down below if you have any questions please have a look at the comment section first maybe the question has been asked before and I'm not you know um, I'm, I'm I want to answer all the questions but I do have some videos where uh, certain questions have been asked multiple times and not you know, like um, three or four times but hundreds of times before so it would be, would be really good if you um, could have a look at that first uh, and then if you cannot find it don't hesitate just ask the question and I will, I will try to answer the questions as soon as possible all right anyway thank you so much for watching um, please do not forget to share this video with your friends and family I would really appreciate that and give me that thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my youtube channel, channel of course again thank you so much for watching um, if you're going to watch another video of mine or maybe if you're still working on this one please do not forget to enjoy and guys Stay healthy. Bye for now. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the Scheepjes cocktail. This is a um, cotton acrylic blend, 50-50. 50% cotton, 50% um, acrylic. Okay, most important, most important of all, no. chain three, no, sorry, skip that. No. And then I started filming again, but I didn't hit the record button, and again. <sighs> and if you are, if you hear children, they uh, are playing outside, and I have my uh, window open in the in my crochet room so I'm sorry about that if that's annoying anyway please continue and I'll see you at the end of this row
drie stokjes gedaan. En je ziet hier steken markeren. Die steken markeren zit precies in het midden. Dus als je naar deze kant van de steken markeren kijkt, dan ben je dus geëindigd met drie stokjes. Dit moest Engels.